Yeah, we we're just out, uh, talking to boaters and fishermen about uh, slowing down the spread of aquatic invasive species. You guys, you guys catch anything today? We're hoping that with their knowledge of ways to prevent them, it will help in the future to prevent new species and existing species from spreading even more. <laughs> This is the first test with one of these polymer emitters. We're doing this in conjunction with uh, Dr. Jim Hansen, who's at Seton Hall University. And so now we're setting up to start this first experiment with these little polymer emitters, and we're going to be releasing uh, fully sexually mature, what we call ovulating females downstream, who are highly responsive to 3K PZS. And as they swim upstream, we're hoping to show that they'll be attracted to the emitter that is releasing 3K PZS and avoid one that is simply the polymer. This is an adult male-released pheromone that attracts ready-to-mate females to the male. So it's the male's special love smell. It's like a love cocktail. He really gets the ladies with that smell. If we can, uh, we can figure out what that smell is, and extract it from people, I always say, you know, I'll be pulling up to the station in a Mercedes. So it looks as though, based on preliminary estimates of the population, that um, the quagga mussel population, at least at depths less than 90 meters, has reached some sort of a peak. And at what point and at what level the population will decline remains to be seen. Back in 1990, I was doing some sampling in the St. Clair River at actually the Bell River Power Plant. You can see the stacks back there. And I picked up a fish and I didn't know what it was. And so I took it to the fish museum and Jerry Smith identified it as a round goby, which was the first time gobies have ever been found in North America. And since then, we've been working on how far they've gone, what impacts they've had on native species. And then we're gonna compare the fish community, what it was in 1990 with what it is in 2011. All right. Hopefully in the future when these students are, are adults bringing their, their kids back here, uh, there'll be adult Atlantic salmon that are the uh, future generations of the fish they released today here to meet them and uh, they'll be able to see the, the, the fruits of their, their efforts uh, for the past four months. <laughs>